Shalom. This week's Sedra is Sedras Acharimos and Kedoshim. In order to help explain this week's Sedra, what I'd like to do is tell a story of a man named Michael. For Michael, the subject was incredibly confusing. Michael was trying to understand the subject for his next Judaic studies class. Michael, a Jew without too much background, figured that as a Jew, Judaic studies should be pretty simple. Little did he know that sitting in an academic setting in a college, He'd be sitting with an English translation of the Bible, selected writings of Maimonides, all open while Skyping with his brother's rabbi who was sitting in his office in Jerusalem, with what Michael had to admit was probably one of the greatest views of the Western Wall he'd ever seen. In the Bible, when discussing the Kohen Gadol's Yom Kippur service, God stated, and pardon me for reading, Aaron shall lean both his hands upon the live goat's head and confess upon it all his transgressions, rebellions, and unintentional sins of the Jewish people and they shall place them on the goat's head and send it off to the desert with a man. The goat shall carry upon itself all his sins into a hilly land, and he shall send the goat off into the desert. <coughs> Excuse me. Michael's professor had challenged his students with statements of the Rambam about, the, about repentance and atonement process. The professor claimed that the idea that the goat that the Kohen Gadol sent out to the desert could atone for the sins contradicted the Rambam's principles of atonement. Let me read for you the Rambam's words and you'll see what I mean. The Rambam wrote, if a person transgresses any of the Torah, whether it be a positive command or a negative command, whether willingly or inadvertently, when he repents, he must confess before God. Those who bring sin offerings or guilt offerings must also confess their sins when they bring their sacrifices. Their sacrifices will not atone for their sins until they repent and make a verbal confession. Michael's professor made made the point that according to the Rambam, atonement only comes with repentment and confession. Let me repeat that. According to the Rambam, atonement only comes with repentance and confession. Yet Michael's professor argued in a description of the goat the Kohen Gadol sends out, the Rambam wrote, the Kohen Gadol confesses upon the goat as a representative for all the Jewish people. The goat sent atones for all the transgressions in the Torah. This applies only if one repents. If one does not repent, the goat only sins, only atones for the light sins. If, as the Rambam had written, that only repentance and confession atones for sins, Michael's professor argued, how could the goat goat that's sent out to the desert atone for sin? After all, only repentance atones for sin. How could the goat atone for sin? Michael asked his brother's rabbis for help. The rabbi explained that there are many ways to gain atonement. In fact, sometimes atonement only comes with time, or even the passing of Yom Kippur. Atonement isn't only about the repentance and the confession process, but about refreshing one's relationship with God. While repentance and confession play essential roles in a person's personal refinement, atonement also encompasses a refreshing of one's relationship with God. Michael understood the rest on his own. Atonement for a serious sin requires both personal refinement and rehabilitation of one's relationship with God. Atonement for a lighter sin requires less, only the rehabilitation of one's relationship with God. As a representative of the people, the Kohen Gadol can effectuate the people's rehabilitation of their relationship with God and atonement for their light sins. Michael understood. I hope it was clear to you. If not, you can always play the video again. Shabbat Shalom.